son of a diggers, Ryan Anderson, is coming off a big win and has tightened the gap in pursuit of another series championship. Can Tyler Menega rebound from an off night and get back to dominating the series? Or will Bad Company's John Gordon continue to play spoiler and knock Team Gravedigger off the podium? Find out when round 20 of Monster Jam begins now. State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona, home of the Arizona Cardinals, will tonight play host to the stars of Monster Jam Stadium Championship Series Blue. Good evening, I'm Leslie Mears alongside the seven deuce deuce, Adam Entick Knapp. And just when it appeared that Tyler Meninga was about to put this series away, Ryan Anderson says, not so fast. Adam, the son of a digger driver, had a dominant round in Seattle and got nine points back. Yeah, you know, Ryan Anderson isn't the two-time defending champion for no reason. And I really think before Seattle, that time he took off to kind of recharge his batteries, get feeling better, and just get that focus on this series, I think made a huge difference. If Ryan Anderson has a couple more rounds like that, this championship could heat up quick. Yeah, and he was just one point shy of a perfect event. And the driver who took that away from him was Bad Company's John Gordon, who picked up his second racing win of the season. What have you seen out of John this year, specifically during racing? You know, I think this is the fastest that we've ever seen John in his entire career. There's no doubt in my mind. And really, he just has the truck dialed in. It looks like he's hitting his marks. He's starting to kind of find his flow. And something else that's interesting about John Gordon, in the racing finals, he's two and one. So in those big clutch moments, John gets it done. Yeah, definitely a boost to his confidence. And earlier, we caught up with a bad company driver in this UNOH pit report. Gaining the second race and win that we've had this year against Ryan Anderson in Seattle, Washington was awesome. It really uh, helped motivate me and my team, you know, kind of to put the fire back under us to continue that, that points drive. You know, we were afraid we were getting away from the points, but lining up against Ryan Anderson and getting to beat him in the finals. I beat him before, I've ran him in the finals before, and I've lost to him. So to finally get to beat him in the finals was definitely a, uh, a motivational moment for me and my team. And it's awesome just to carry that on throughout the rest of the season. You know, honestly, uh, I think a lot of people from the outside looking in would say that, you know, we're kind of finding our groove and, and we're making big strides now and, and it's a little late in the season. But but honestly, a lot of that has to do with this. It's a mental game, too, you know. So so knowing that I have all week to fix the truck versus I have to go right back out there Sunday and fix the truck it is a lot different for me. I get to drive without that worry in my head. So John will be competing against 11 other drivers in round 20. So who do you see coming out on top here? Man, Leslie, there is no other driver in Monster Jam history that has been more successful in State Farm Stadium than Ryan Anderson. He has had 10 competition wins, four overall championships. The numbers don't lie. I got to go with son of a digger tonight. It's an interesting matchup. And some other notables in there, Tyler Meninga, you know, how can he kind of rebound off a slow Seattle? So let's take a look at the series point standing. And Meninga still very much in control of this series. But Ryan Anderson is still in contention there, just 37 back. And why it is tight among those two at the top, I think the battle to watch here also is that 4-5 slot. El Toro Loco really making strides. And Corey Rummel doing business out there to keep himself in the hunt. So tonight, drivers will compete in three competitions, racing the Great Clip Skills Challenge and the Freestyle Competition with 12 points going to the winner of each event out there, totaling those up and determining our overall event championship. It's time now for Track Talk, and this 
floor here in Glendale is huge. It's one of the largest floors that you'll see in Monster Jam. And even though we're indoors, the dirt is dry desert outdoor dirt. So based on your experience, Adam, how is this going to fare for our drivers? You know, I've been here in Supercross so many times before, and this dry desert dirt, it just sits out in the sun and it bakes. And like you said, one of the hardest things about Glendale is that it's such a big floor. You have to put so much dirt down, and it's very hard for the track crew to actually get water consistently in the dirt all the way around the track. And with my experience in Supercross, one of the hardest things is that that there's wet parts of the track and then there's dry parts of the track. So the drivers have to be very vigilant and make sure they're watching the other drivers to see what's going on. Another hard thing about Glendale is that this track is so fast, it's so open. So compared to the other arenas that we've been to, they're gonna have to tighten up their marks. These drivers cannot look left, they can't look right. So they're gonna have to find new markers for the entrance and exits of those corners. Sounds like they're gonna have to rely on the eyes of their crew chiefs to help them out here for yes. sure. So the first competition of the night is racing. So round one will pair Zombie against Avenger, Shaker versus Thunder Roros, Monster Mutt versus El Toro Loco, Axe versus Gravedigger, and then buys in round two for Son of a Digger, Bad Company, Megalodon, and Lucas Stabilizer. What's the race to watch? I mean, it's got to be Shaker versus Thunder Roros. Ryan DeSharoon has a racing record this season of 21 and 16, but when he goes against Colt, he loses three out of the four races. So I'm curious to see what happens tonight. So it's time to find out the first race of the night as we go to the track with Bari Musauer in Zombie up against Jim Kohler in Avenger. So evenly matched there off the top of the pod and Jim swings wide. Jim pushes that first turn a little wide. Can't tell the dirt, grabs the pod. Lead by Bari here. He's keeping it super tight to the inside. Let's hope he misses that turn pod. So Moosauer will come out on top in this first matchup, advancing as we take a look here at our original Super Glue, Glue to the Action Replay. You can see Jim Cora at the bottom of your screen grabbing that pod and Bari Moosauer at the top of the screen, getting a great bounce coming into that turn and executing the win. Also a penalty there for Jim, so we'll have to keep our eyes on that. So your matchup, Adam, here it is. Colt Stevens and Thunder Roris versus Ryan Dishroon in Shaker. Ryan off to a great start, hitting that inside apex perfectly. Look at the way he rounds that corner in the shaker truck. Really different styles here. Colt going wide in the corner, shaker keeping it tight. Look how quick he turned Ooh. that rear steer. It's going to help him cross the line first as shaker advances. You can see already these wide turns giving these drivers fit. Shaker a little too far inside. Thunder Roris a little too far outside. And looks like he might have missed the race ramp at the end. So we'll keep uh, our eyes peeled on those race ramps. It will be a five second penalty if that happens. Coming up, two rookies battling here. Chris Kohler in Monster Mutt versus Chelsea Van Cleve in El Toro Loco. And Chris Kohler has just gotten so much better throughout the season. He ends up grabbing that pod, but it looks like he has a significant lead over Chelsea. Chelsea coming in in her second round in the Monster Jam Stadium Series, but Chris getting it done here tonight. So Monster Mutt advancing easily. Let's take more and more look at it. Chelsea, it looks like she's having a little bit of tough time adjusting to the stadium series. Man, from going from that arena series to the stadium series as a rookie, it's definitely difficult. Our final first round matchup pits another rookie and Axis Joe Foley up against the series points leader, Tyler Meniga in Gravedigger. His second first round appearance this season. He's had buys the rest of the time. Tyler staying tight. Oh, it looks like Joe Foley grabbed the pod, but so did Tyler. And I wonder, too, if ruts aren't starting to develop out there in that dry desert dirt that you talked about. Meninga handily gets around that corner and crosses the finish line first, so Gravedigger will advance. Let's take a look at the original Super Glue, glued to the action replay. Joe Foley looks like he just turns the rear steer in the front a little too hard on the entrance of that corner grabs the pod, has to take too much time to recover. So we can see our matchups here for round two. How about Ryan Disharoon in Shaker? The fastest time of the first round, and he will face Bad Company and John Gordon, who has also been fast all year. 
So things are heating up in the desert. Will Ryan Anderson get another racing win in Glendale? Son of a Digger hits the track next on Monster Jam. Welcome back to Glendale for round two of racing. So first up in round two, it will be Ryan Anderson in Son of a Digger against his longtime rival, Bari Musauer in Zombie. So great racing records for both of them this year. Five racing wins in the books for Son of a Digger driver Ryan Anderson as he clears that first corner with ease. Very dusty. Oh, Ryan Anderson oversteers the truck, something we do not normally see. Bari has this one in the bag. Yeah, he'll also get five second penalty for not hitting that race lane ramp as Bari Musauer advances to our semifinals. You can see a little bit of that uneven dirt dry to tacky, oversteers the truck, grabs the pod, has to put the brakes on, and Bari takes the win. Last round's racing winner, John Gordon in Bad Company, will be up next against Ryan Dishroon in Shaker. And remember, he had the fastest time of round one. He's already seen the track. John Gordon off to a good start, but so is Ryan and Shaker. Both these drivers make a great first turn. Even at the first ramp, let's see who can master the moves around these corners here. Oh, it's the race lane ramp there for Bad Company. It's a super close race here. Let's see who wins it. John Gordon grabs the edge of that step up landing, but still stays on the throttle. And it looks like John Gordon will take the win. Oof. Team Scream teammates going at it here. It'll be the 2022 Breakout Driver of the Year Megalodon's Corey Rummel head to head against Chris Kohler in Monster Mutt. Chris Kohler off to a great first turn. Corey Rummel right around the inside of that landing. Nice corner. A Little bit of a rough race here, hitting the ramps at all angles here. Trying to advance, it'll be Corey Rummel in Megalodon 500 on the year, adding another racing win to his stats. Chris pushing a little bit wide. This track is really drying out in the center of those corners but it looks like Corey Rummel gets it done. And now the final round two matchup will feature the series points leader, Tyler Meninga in Gravedigger against the 2019 World Finals high jump champion, Cynthia Gauthier in Lucas Stabilizer. Cynthia off to a great first turn. Tyler right on the inside. And she's but holding it, her own. She's Cynthia ahead of has here. the advantage. Let's see if she can keep this rolling. A great corner for her. Can she do it? And she does. How about it? Gautier with the win. Cynthia getting it done. Driving the wheels off of that Lucas Stabilizer truck. Man, and this is great for her. She said she wanted to get that by run, and that gives her so much more momentum. As she advances, she'll be paired up against Megalodon's Corey Rummel. Then we'll have Bad Company versus Zombie here in our semi-final matchup. Some fast drivers for sure. Can John Gordon continue his winning streak? Find out when we come back with more Monster Jam. Welcome back to Glendale, Arizona. It's time for the racing semifinals. So up first, it will be former Monster Jam Rookie of the Year, Bari Musauer in Zombie, with lane choice here, going head to head with the red hot John Gordon in Bad Company. So how much difference does it make having lane choice? I mean, right now it looks like both of the lanes are very good, but it's the center of the corners that I'm worried about. Both drivers, John Gordon and Bari, get through the first turn well, but it's gonna come down to this last corner. Yeah, I think that step up causes trouble for some people, but not John Gordon here in bad company as he will move to the finals. Let's take a look at our original Super Glue Glue to the action replay. Bari coming a little inside, but John Gordon just hitting his marks. Perfectly grabs the inside on that last turn and gets it done. So our final semifinal matchup has Corey Rummel with the fastest round two time in Megalodon up against Cynthia Gauthier, who pulled up a huge upset against Tyler. Can she keep it rolling? Man, I am so impressed with how fast Cynthia looks on this track. Corey Rummel, Cynthia about even at halfway. 
Look how fast Corey pitches it into those corners, utilizing all that rear steer. It's going to come down to this. And how about it? He was slower on that round. Let's take one more look at it here. Is it Gautier? And it is. Lucas Stabilizer, Cynthia Gautier, will go to her first final round of racing. What a spectacle we have here in racing as we'll get to crown our champ next. So John Gordon is looking for his second straight racing win, his third on the season. And he's got that winning streak going now. So he'll go head to head with a surprising Cynthia Goatee. I can't get over oh. how surprising it is to see her in this final round. Here we go. Both drivers look great coming into the first turn. It's all gonna be about this set into the corner after the jump. Gordon with the edge here about a truck length. Coming in, that step up has been problematic, but he nails it perfectly. And John Gordon in bad company gets his second racing win in a row and scores the first 12 points of the night. I'm telling you, John Gordon has set his marks for racing. He knew exactly where he wanted to get that truck turn and he is just nailing it tonight. Yeah, and he talked about that confidence, picking up his third racing win of the series out here on top. And you can see how they fall. But what a great start for Cynthia to get those 11 points right off the bat here in racing. Next up in Glendale was the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Drivers could attempt two technical maneuvers on two wheels or opt to do a donut. Each driver was judged by the fans on creativity, skill, and execution. And with 12 points on the line, let's take a look back at our top contenders. Coming in fifth was Ryan Dishroon in Shaker with a nose wheelie into a moonwalk. Throwing in a little nose wheelie off the front of that step up into a moonwalk. Nice job, Shaker. Corey Rummel comes in fourth uh, with the, some impressive combos. Getting a little popper off the front of that step up, hitting the nose wheelie, riding that thing for a while. Third, Ryan Anderson in Son of a Digger with an aggressive bicycle. Little more open space for Ryan Anderson, throws a bicycle halfway around the stadium. Hitting the donut, Barry Moosauer in Zombie is your runner up. Nice move, Barry, throw a little dust up for these Glendale fans. And taking the win with a score of 9.290, Tyler Meninga in Gravedigger with a stoppy moonwalk combo. Man, I will tell you what, it's a little bit of deja vu. This man can keep that 12,000 pound truck balanced perfectly on those BKT tires. And Tyler picks up his league leading ninth skills win and gets 12 points, which puts him one behind Bari Musauer for the event lead as we take a look here at our BKT overall point standings so far with two in the books. Two down, one to go in Glendale. Stay right where you are. Freestyle is next on Monster Jam. This is Stadium Championship Series Blue at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Zombies Bari Musauer is having a very consistent night with two podium finishes. Adam Bari is a big believer in consistency being key to winning here. But being this close to the overall, is it consistency in freestyle or do we take some chances? You know, if it was anywhere else other than Glendale, I would say be consistent. But this open floor is so big. You have to have that wow moment. There's so much more speed going on. You're going to be able to carry so much more speed into every single jump. And I think that gives opportunity for even more drivers to go big. So tonight, you got to have that wow factor. And room for recovery if you happen to make a mistake as well. So Tyler Meninga is back in the event championship picture after winning skills. He leads the series with seven freestyle wins, but has been winless since El Paso. So what's it going to take for him to get back to his winning ways here? Leslie, I'm going to make this really simple, <laughs> OK? If Tyler's truck doesn't break, he can win. That is the bottom line, no question in my mind. Well, he currently trails Bari by just one point, but there are multiple drivers with legitimate shot here at winning the event championship as just seven points separates one through seven after our two competitions here. 
So let's take a look at the always important freestyle running order. And the spot you need to watch is 9 through 12, just loaded there at the bottom of the competition. So the event championship could be decided there. But let's talk about Cynthia. She has set herself up perfect with that surprising second place finish in racing. What does she have to do to take it here? I mean, right now, Cynthia just has to do what she does best, and that's kind of put the pedal to the metal. She is known for that. She's gone out to this track and racing already and showed that she is so comfortable. She has four freestyle event championships already this season, so all she has to do is go out there, do her best, get some big air, and take advantage of that fourth place spot. And I think her changing up her style in freestyle really has helped her out as of late, getting her those win. So moments ago, Chelsea Van Cleve kicked off freestyle in El Toro Loco, but she'd roll the truck over, earning just a 6.95. And you know, that's one of the hardest things is like, this dirt is so different and you see it just grab the truck, it's slippery and then it's tacky and Chelsea goes over the top. So now it's time to continue on with freestyle and our next competitor out of Hiram, Georgia is John Gordon in Bad Company. So John primed here just four points off the lead, his first time in Glendale. So how do you think he's gonna fare with this wide open track? I mean, he's been doing good in racing and it seems like it's favoring him. Yeah, and he's had a handful of top five finishes in freestyle, but he just hasn't had that breakout freestyle yet. Nice Ooh, that was a there. hard hit right there. But great recovery and way to balance that truck over and pick it back up. You know, and one of the things that we talk about with John Gordon that he has to change up here tonight is he's so precise. You talk about this all the time. He's so good on the throttle. He seems to be so smooth. But here with this wide open track, you have a little bit more space. John, you got to let it loose just like that. Yeah, he needs to kind of try to make that move from like silky to reckless. And I yes. think that's really hard for him to do. And it's kind of got to be a happy medium. You know, yeah. you can't just be full reckless or full silky because you won't get the score or you'll run out of time because you crash. A huge air onto the pod from John Gordon. Great air by John and that's what he needs. He's good. Quick turns. He's got momentum. Big air. Let's see. We've got a little pop and drop here right across that center pod. A little short on the pod. A little pop and drop there. Thought he was going to pull it into the slap wheelie for just a second as he maneuvers around, looking yeah, for a big finale here. This is the wow moment that he needs. Woo! Big backflip landed on the side. Oh, John. And so Gordon will kick off freestyle here with an 8.864. Let's take a look at our original super glue, glue to the action replay. Here's that backflip. It looks like it grabbed the bumper of the truck and he just twisted right at the last second. And that'll be it for John. So he has the freestyle lead, but will he win the event championship? Find out when Monster Jam returns. Welcome back to round 20 of Monster Jam. Today, fans got out of the desert heat and headed inside State Farm Stadium to attend the pit party, where they met the drivers and saw these 12,000 pound machines up close. If you want to experience all the fun, make sure you attend the pit party when Monster Jam comes to a stadium near you. So during the break, it was Jim Kohler's turn on the track and he would under rotate the eight pack, earning a 7.597. So up next, out of Mirabel, Quebec, Canada, it's Cynthia Gauthier in Lucas Stabilizer. This is the one we've been waiting for, Leslie. She has a great opportunity. She's fourth right now in the running order. Cynthia, you need to take advantage right now. And she's got to definitely get ahead of John Gordon if she wants to take the lead away from him. And, you know, it's no surprise to me, though, that this season she's picked up four freestyle wins and I think that you know she was a bit kind of underrated in freestyle this season and she's kind of proved that she can hold her own here in this Lucas stabilizer truck and uh, compete with the best. Yeah and I'll tell you what she's doing it right now. She has that truck all over the place here in Glendale and that's kind of what we talked about before with John Gordon. What we love about Cynthia and I think what everybody loves about Cynthia nice little slap really but she lets it hang out a little bit. She lets the truck get loose. It's a little sideways and then she saves it. And the crowd seems to react huge to that. 
And I think that they kind of like that reckless abandon, right? <laughs> and, and she does a great job of recovering, of letting the truck kind of land and bounce and figuring out where she's got to take it next to get that next move in. And she told me, you know, it, being in those arenas before Seattle, she had some time to really work on her skills maneuvers. And that's one thing that she's hoping she can add to her freestyle is that skills move to try to add some points to her score. So she's going the opposite side of the backflip. All four BKTs oh, down. Let's see what she's man. got. That was a perfect backflip. Oh, there we go, Cynthia. That's what we're talking about. Great combo there with the big air. Turn it around. Left front tire up. She is wheeling. Man, Cynthia has the crowd on their feet right now. This is the exact recipe that we're looking for for a big score in freestyle. Another nice air from Cynthia. I love how she's letting the truck rebound. She's got these wide open spaces to gather it up. And look at that. Everybody fist pumping for Gautier. <laughs> nice big air onto the pod, making it just perfectly. And then this backflip right now. Key. What? Oh my gosh, that was picturesque, Leslie. Clutch in getting her that 9.569, and she'll be your new freestyle leader. So out of Columbus, Michigan, it's Chris Kohler in Monster Mutt. Definitely, this is one of the drivers that I look forward to seeing his career in the future. I look forward to watching him get better each and every week. This stadium rookie has been turning some heads. Yeah, but how hard is it to follow up a freestyle like what Gautier put out there? You just got to sit back there in the pits and watch it all go down, and you've got to try to one-up it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what Chris is going to have to do to be better than Cynthia, but if I'm the driver and I'm in his seat, I'm looking to hear and see what the crowd reacted to. What were the jumps that were good? How can I go bigger? And how, you know, what are the little things that I can do to get a better score than Cynthia got? For sure. He'll uh, round the corner here, try to give a little one, two, get some big air onto the pod. Completely cleared the pod there and able to shoot the gap with precision. Here we go, get onto that pod. Nice throttle control off that ramp to get the truck set down in oh, the air. Pop and drop into the slap wheelie there. Nicely done. Yeah, a little bit of chaos for us in Glendale. And I think the experience on the big floors this year has only led him to improvement to make moves like that happen, too. All right, same side of the backflip ramp where we saw the perfection from Gautier. Same result here and a little moonwalk. Ooh. Little bit of a combo moonwalk for Chris. Nice run. I don't know if that's going to be enough to beat Cynthia, though. A great wow factor. And it looks like he's got a little bit. They paused the clock, so he's got just a little bit more time left. Come on, Chris. We need something big. There it is. That's it. A little slide, slap, Ooh. cartwheel. Trying to throttle out. When in doubt, that's all you've got to do here. And he'll land upside down. What a freestyle for Kohler. An 8.531, though. Ooh, a little underwhelming. Comes into the backflip. That side of the ramp definitely seems to be good right now. Combination move into that moonwalk. Nice job, Chris. So Cynthia Gautier now has her sights set on the championship trophy. Will she take it home? Find out when Freestyle continues next. We are back with more from Stadium Championship Series Blue at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. During the break, the freestyle action continued with Joe Foley and Axe, but he would blow the motor with about 30 seconds left and get a score of 8.029. That little flash flame there, the final blow to that motor, unfortunately for him. Our next competitor out of Houston, Texas, Colt Stevens in Thunder Roarus. Yeah, nice big air, landing that thing perfectly on all four BKTs, taking that impact off the truck. Yeah, and his fifth appearance here in Glendale, so very, very familiar with the wide open spaces that he's got to work with here. 
Yeah, it's so much fun to watch these Monster Jam trucks get that little bit of extra space. You can tell the drivers are just a little bit more willing to give it that extra throttle, land a little farther, land a little more cattywampus. It's pretty fun to watch. And that's what we saw there. He was able to goose it just a little bit harder and clear the pod, where in other spaces, he would have been up against the barriers in the building and almost into the seats. And so you're right, the wide open spaces allow you to go just a little bit harder, push it, and use all 1,500 horsepower of that motor. Man, Colt is doing such a fantastic job controlling that truck right now, gets it onto the pod, knows exactly where that thing's gonna bounce, missing all the landmines. Oh, looks like something might be wrong with Thunder Oris. So a brief pause. And so we see him continue on. The rhythm here is just phenomenal. And you know, one thing about Colt, he did pick up a win here when he was driving Doomsday in 2016. And how much more confidence does it give you as a driver or a rider when you've already got a win under your belt in a place? Yeah, it's just that extra bit of comfort and it's that extra bit of belief. When you get to that stadium, you feel a little bit more relaxed or tend to have a little bit better of a morning, a better day, and it seems like everything kind of flows together. So coming around the corner there at the back flip ramp, he's gonna bypass it and go for the step up instead. Completely clears it. You know, one of the things that I think he might not get as well of a, as good of a score as he wants is he's been really working that side of the track. Here he comes That's for the A-pack. And he lands it. Phenomenal here from Stevens. We don't normally see him go for that. He's usually a trench box backflip guy. Mm. But a nice exclamation point on the run here for Stevens. Here he comes in for the eight-pack backflip, lines it up so well, lands on all four BKTs. Nice run, Colt Stevens. Next out on the track, riding out of the metal shop, it's Ryan Disharoon in Shaker. And so he's one of those guys here, trails the event lead by seven, but we've also seen him pull some rabbits out of his hat in freestyle. Man, I'll tell you what, there's something about Ryan, Ryan Disharoon where if he's feeling it that night, he's almost unbeatable. And then all of a sudden his truck breaks or something weird happens. It's been such a tough season for Ryan Disharoon in the metal shop, but they keep coming back. And those guys are absolute soldiers over there. Yeah, and I think that his truck is, you know, really well designed. Nice finesse move on top of the pod to stand it straight up on the wheelie bar. But I think that his truck is really geared more towards utilizing that horsepower in a bigger place with the angle of the shocks that they've created to help it land better. And so we're gonna be able to see some of that flying Ryan action from him here. Yeah, he's definitely one of those drivers that has a very unique to himself uh, chassis that only Shaker has. Nice step up, step down there on the pod. Smooth as silk. Oh, here we go. Ooh, Little okay. skills maneuver. Okay. I like it. Let's see what he's got next, though. It's it's not about what you can put out there. It's what you can combo it with. And a great wheelie out there to follow up. Remember, our score to beat here, a 9.569 set early by Lucas Stabilizer. Nice job onto the pod. Now kind of... I've seen the technical moves. I've seen him kind of turn around, get this crowd going, but here we need something big. Wow factor coming at you. Great landing on the backflip. Puts himself in a perfect position to continue on. A little bit of a reverse that slows him down just a bit. Ooh, that break is gonna just absolutely kill him on that race ramp. He just should have left it to the floor. Nice little bicycle coming off that air. And that'll do it here for Shaker in 8.248. As we'll take a look at our original super glue glue to the action replay. Here he comes into the backflip, nice lineup. I will tell you what, that trench box is throwing those trucks perfectly tonight. Here comes our former Extreme Air Award winner, Corey Rummel in Megalodon, and he trails the event lead here by three. And so you gotta remember, folks, we've only seen one score in the nines so far, and that's been Cynthia Gauthier in Lucas Stabilizer. So our, our players here are really gonna have to step it up. I love it. You know, Leslie, you know it's gonna be a good run. 
when the truck is already coming apart. That's great there, and I love that he finessed it up there off the center pond, and got a nice wheelie to ride across. Nice job utilizing the entire track, too. I love that he's utilizing the whole floor. He's working from one end to the other, keeping up good speed. And remember, he's got a big motor here, so with this extra room to play, he can definitely use it. Oh, better be careful landing like that, Corey. Yeah, a little too, a little too close to the sideline there for <laughs> yeah. me. So crawling around here, getting some momentum up to head towards that center pod. Nice job onto the pod. He looks like, Corey looks like he's searching a little bit. I'm gonna need, we need him to start revving this thing up. We need some wow moments here. Yeah, his fourth Glendale appearance. So he knows the track. He knows where he needs to go. He's gonna get himself righted back to the track where he's aligned with where he needs to go. So we've seen him use the space. We've seen him get some big air. We've seen him put some skills moments in there. We need some wow factor to kind of cap it off. He's going for the backflip. Very consistent, that side of the trench box nice so far. Backflip. And great momentum too. I love how he kicked it into the reverse and then back into forward to continue on here. Okay, Corey, you need to get it going right now. No more technical moves. We need a big moment. Looks like he's got something in mind here as he wheels around to the side. Different approach. We've seen this from a few drivers so far this season. Hitting the side of the ramp. Oh, another backflip. He might have been going for a sky wheelie and then he pulls it off. Nicely done. Great track presence here by Corey Rummel to pull that off. Although I think that wasn't what he was shooting for, Adam. <laughs> I don't think so either. It looks like he was going for a huge sky wheelie and he stayed on the throttle. That huge shark did a backflip, rolled over the top. He hits the gas. Great truck awareness. This crowd is on their feet in Glendale. And with that score, he will take the lead here in freestyle with a 9.643. So with that score, Megalodon puts himself on top of our current freestyle leaderboard with just three drivers yet to go. So Corey Rummel is looking for his first event championship, but Anderson, Moosauer, and Menega are all next on Monster Jam. Welcome back to round 20 in Glendale. Before we get back to the action, let's take one more look at the BKT overall event leaderboard coming in to freestyle. So you've got Moosauer on top, followed by Meninga, Rommel, Gautier, and Gordon. And the way that freestyle has been shaking out so far, there is still a lot of room to determine our champ. So next up, it's the three-time World Finals champion, Ryan Anderson in Son of a Digger. And Ryan Anderson needs a... He's rolled to a stop here. Definite frustration coming from him. He's hitting the switches with his right hand over there, trying to get it started, and then he went for the belts. Yeah, he, he's getting undressed. What's going on? Oh, he's upset. Ryan is upset right now. Something is definitely wrong with that truck. So we're gonna guess here if it's an issue getting started. He'll have a DNC here, a, a did not compete as he can't get it started. So it could be the starter, could be the mag, could be his box in there setting him back. So it's the leader of Zombie Nation, Barimu Sauer. Leslie, the stage is set. The pressure is on right now for Barimu Sauer. He knows exactly who he has to beat and what score he has to beat. Let's see if the zombie driver can deliver. Yeah, delivering so far, great outside, inside moves here from Bari Musauer. And third Glendale appearance also has a freestyle victory on the season, which uh, those are hard to come by because they've been hogged up by Menega and Anderson so far this season. So that's definitely noteworthy, even though it's just one. You know, and right now I'm watching Bari's truck and it just looks so good. and. As this season goes on, his truck has just gotten better and better, and he looks so comfortable right now driving Zombie. And I think a lot of that has to do with confidence and performance as well. So he has a third, a first, 
and a third in his last three events. So how much does that play into your mentality when you're hitting the track for freestyle when you've got that great track record behind you recently? I mean, we all know how much it matters to believe in yourself. And when you're that close, you know you just need that little bit more. And right now, for Bari in Zombie, he has a huge opportunity, but he's got to go big, and we got to see some wow moments. I love that he's going for the backflip early. This side, very, very consistent, as we have mentioned before. Lands it, tries to get a little bit of a moonwalk, and then throttles right out of it. I love the aggression coming from him post-backflip. Oh, here we go. First and second onto the pod. Huge Aaron Glendale. Big bounce. Can he save it? Up on the pod. And he does. Oh, oh, oh. I love it. And then he rolls right around, slight bicycle, and then rolling up on top of the ramp. A great run there for Moosehauer. A 8.734. Definitely going to shake up the order. Here he comes into the backflip. Man, that trench box has just been unbelievable today. Great rotation. Misses the combination of moonwalk, but that's all right. And then this huge air to end the run. Yeah, hats off to our dirt crew for doing such a phenomenal job on that trench box this weekend. Our final competitor, the four-time Triple Threat Series champion and the current series points leader, Tyler Meninga, in Gravedigger, where he needs to finish first or second to win the event. Oh my gosh. But he stopped. This is not what Tyler needs. Okay. All right, here we go. So he's back at it, back in the throttle. Oh, oh and then he breaks a tie rod. Tie rod. Right off the bat. And so now that is a move that we've seen him make hundreds of times, but unfortunately he will not fill the 30 second clock. So a tough ending to the night for Team Gravedigger as Corey Rummel will get his first freestyle win of the year. Cynthia Gautier landing in second, Bad Company third, Zombie fourth, and Thunder Roarus rounds out your top five. So Corey adds 12 points with the win as we check out our final BKT overall point standing. He ties Moose Hour with 30, but the freestyle score breaks the tie and Corey Rummel is the overall event championship. So it's his first one of the season. And right now, let's hear from our driver. Man, going into freestyle, I knew I had to lay it down. I got semifinals in racing, and I think I got third or fourth in two wheel skills. So I knew I had to lay it down. And guess what? Tried to do a big sky wheel, but just happened to do a backflip, and I pulled out of it. It was the best thing in the world. Man, coming out here to Glendale, I absolutely love this place, man. The building is amazing, the people are amazing, and the floor is huge. It's the biggest floor we ever get to play on. Competition is always stout, man. This is one of the hardest tours I believe that I've ever been on. A little tough luck for Tyler Meninga and Gravedigger and a horrible luck for Ryan Anderson and Freestyle, man. They both ended up early and I hate to take the win like that, but man, it's monster trucks. Anything can happen. It can happen to me at any time. So I knew that I had to keep my truck 100% and it worked out tonight. For Adam Entiknap, I'm Leslie Mears. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you right here next time on Monster Jam.